Okay, so hello everybody and um, welcome this week to my studio. As promised, uh, here I am on a Saturday morning in my studio and I'm going to share with you a few of the paintings that I've been working on over the last few weeks based on my garden, uh, Helen Johnson, Artist in the Garden series. Um, but before I do that, I thought that it might be quite interesting to give you a little, very little walk around my studio because uh, you may see behind me, um, it's not very large. This is the entirety of my studio and where all my work is produced. I just thought I'd share with you a few of the things that I do to make it uh, manageable and um, how I actually managed to get some paintings out of this uh, bijou space. It's not to say that I don't love my studio, I absolutely love it and I quite like it for its compactness because I'm quite a an uh, untidy person uh, by nature and so having a smaller space means that I have to keep it reasonably tidy because I literally would not be able to move, other, uh, move otherwise. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the camera around and give you a little walk around uh, the studio and point out a few things to you. So we'll start with the view out of my window which is the kind of opposite direction to the um, way the camera was pointing a moment ago. So I was actually looking at that view whilst talking to you um, on camera. Uh, pretty splendid view and uh, I have paintings with that view um, as well. Okay, so that's the view. Okay, but in we come and you'll see here that I've got my easel uh, and I've got a painting on that easel um, which is work in progress at the moment. So other features that I have that are uh, really useful for the space, I have got this trolley here, which I absolutely love. And on top of the trolley, I've got, it's a secondary glazing unit, which I use as my palette. So it's like a glass palette, basically, but it sits over the top of my trolley and will double up as a, a work surface as well if I um, clean it off and empty it off. Obviously, I can do that with it. Underneath, I've got all my... Um, main things that I use on a regular basis and I uh, categorise my paints into um, colour schemes so that it makes it easier just for me to, to be able to find them because I don't have like massive storage so um, and you'll see the best thing about this trolley is that it comes on wheels which means that uh, I can move it around the space really easily so if I want to work on this painting for example which is on the wall I would move my trolley around here and then I've got my easel ready to go if I wanted to work on this um, one. I've got my desk over here, which has actually belonged to my great aunt Alice, who I'm named after. My middle name is Helen Alice Johnson. Um, and that's really handy because it means that I can, actually it's an old fashioned bureau, but it means that if I want to, and if I'm working again on this big one, I can actually just fold this up and it all closes in on itself like that. And then that gives me a little bit more space there. So everything is movable and removable. So that's my studio in a nutshell. And then I'll show you now some of the things that I've been working on in my studio. Uh, so I've got down here my stones. I don't really talk a lot about my stones, but for each garden that I visit, I leave a stone which has been um, carved into a leaf, and not the whole stone, I carve a leaf onto the stone uh, and then gild it. So there's one that is half finished and I'll show you a picture of it when I've finished it um, at the end of this video. So you can see that it's got the gold leaf on but I haven't actually just taken, burnished that off yet so that's my next job. Um, but I do that for every garden that I visit and I leave it as a kind of thank you, a little bit of a sort of signature as well to say Helen was here sort of thing. So you may remember this if you have been um, watching my video blogs and if you have been keeping a track of the Gamblesby garden. This is the uh, finished garden paintings of the Gamblesby garden, the abstracts. And um, just to sort of like share with you some of the uh, things that inspired me uh, to produce this painting, there's the orange hexagon. Is that right now? No, I've done it again. <laughs> it's the orange rectangle. Uh, for some reason, I keep calling it a hexagon, but it is definitely a rectangle. Um, that was a beech tree in uh, in the garden. And obviously at this time of the year, uh, which is winter, 
uh, the beach is really beautiful orange. You can see the uh, actual fells in the background that are sort of snowy topped and that is the view that Caitlin and Matt really liked as about their garden was the view it showed you over to the fells and you could actually see Blencathra in the distance. And, you know, just some things that are a little bit more spontaneous. It's, uh, I don't want to make it too formulaic because it will lose its energy. So some of the things have to kind of come from the imagination and come from within. It's, the whole point of doing an abstract painting is that it's more than just a view. Then I've got this one, which is the, I'm struggling with, I will be honest, massively struggling with this at the moment. This is the Scottish Gardens. Um, I went to the Botanical Gardens in Edinburgh and also to the Princess Street West Garden. And they're a combination of the two, but if you had to, because these are two paintings, 290 by 90 um, squares, if I had to separate them, I would put the right hand side one as the Princess Street Garden and the left hand side one as the Botanical Gardens. The right hand side one is more worked than the left. Um, but neither of them are anywhere near finished. There's a lot of work yet to do. And actually we're going back to Edinburgh, Edinburgh next week and I will be revisiting certainly the Princess Street Garden uh, to try and sort of get my head around it a little bit more because as I say, I'm struggling with this a bit. Uh, there's some parts of it that I quite like and actually, um, funnily enough, I quite like the fact that, um, so this, these are like small rhododendron heads in the distance. Uh, you can see them sort of like in their bright sort of colour there, but I didn't like them, so I've painted over them on this side uh, with finished paint. I actually quite like the fact that you can still see them through there in that, yeah, I, I prefer them like that. And for me, often mistakes are more uh, energetic than non-mistakes, if, if that makes sense. So I quite like the reworking and reworking and reworking. And so there's some quite nice elements in there as well. I love the way that that blue and orange, for example, sort of sing off each other uh, in that little patch there. So I hope that gives you a little bit of a flavour of my studio and what I've been up to. I hope to see you tomorrow for a much shorter, shorter version. I've waffled on for quite a bit here, but um, a much shorter version of a, a Helen Johnson artist in the garden. And um, I won't tell you where it is, but I'm really looking forward to painting it because it's another spectacular garden. Uh, but I hope to see you there tomorrow. Uh, thanks ever so much for watching. And I will be doing this every Saturday. Uh, so please join me again next week and you'll hopefully see some progress on this one and um, see what else I've started to get up to as well. Thanks again. Bye bye.